In this video, I'm talking all about the wiggle expression. It sounds complicated, but believe me, it will make your life so much easier. So let's get into it. So we're inside of Adobe After Effects, and as you can see, I've just got this shape layer in the middle of our composition. Now, if I wanted to animate the position over time, then what I would have to do is go into the drop down arrow, transform, create a brand new keyframe on position, move over, move the object over, move over, move the object over, move over, move the object over, and keep repeating this process over and over again. But the problem is that that is extremely time consuming. So instead, that is where the wiggle expression comes into play. Now, I haven't talked much about expressions on this channel before, but expressions are really intelligent ways of automating specific motions. So if we go onto position, instead of selecting the stopwatch icon, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold option and then press it. And as you can see, we get this window pop up here, which says transform.position. But if we delete that and we type in the phrase wiggle open bracket, let's go for 10 comma 50. What that's going to do is it's going to animate the position automatically. Now these two numbers are representing the amount and the speed. So as you can see at the moment, it looks rather frantic. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to change the wiggle to 50, 10. So I'm gonna reverse it. And as you can see, 50 is moving around quite a lot, but it's not exactly moving in space a lot. So we'll change that to 5500. And as you can see now, it's going all over the place. It's moving about a lot and it's extremely fast. So we'll pull the first one down to one and the second one can be set to 500. So as you can see, the first value is our speed and the second value is our amount. So if we wanted a fast animation, then just have a larger number on the left. But if you wanted a slow animation, they just have that slower number. And then if you wanted to contain this within a certain small amount, so let's go for, let's go for 50. You can see it's only going to move around in this space here, but pulling that up to, let's say 700 means this is now going to fly all over the screen. And the great news is once we've added that in, there's no keyframes, which means this can just keep repeating infinitely for the entire duration of our composition. So if we had a one hour composition, this would just keep repeating over and over again. And of course, it's not just the position that you can use the wiggle expression on. So we'll copy that and delete that. So we'll get rid of that. And as you can see, no motion is now applied. We'll go down to opacity. We'll go option, select that, and then we'll paste that wiggle expression in. And as you can see, nothing is really happening. And that's because our speed here is set to one. So we'll go for 50. So wiggle 50, and then we'll do 50 again. So 50, 50, let's see how that looks. As you can see, that's going to flicker about quite a lot. So we'll pull the first number down to 10. So we'll do 10, 50. And there you go, that's creating this nice flicker effect. And of course we can do the same thing on scale. So we'll copy that, delete that. Go option, scale, paste that in, wiggle, open brackets 50, and that's going to animate the scale. Now, the great news with this wiggle expression is it's not just applied to motion or opacity on a shape layer. You can actually apply this to effects and video footage. So as you can see here, we've got this city footage. So we're going to go into this drop down arrow, go transform. We've got position, scale, rotation, opacity. Let's go for rotation. So we'll go option, rotation. We'll paste the wiggle expression in. And as you can see, the rotation is going to be animated using that specific expression. Now, like I said before, it's not just rotation, position, scale you can animate. You can also apply this to effects. So we'll go into effects and presets and search for brightness. So brightness and contrast. We'll drop that onto our footage. We'll go into brightness and contrast. We'll hold option and select the stopwatch icon next to brightness. We'll paste that in. So wiggle open brackets, five comma 50 close brackets, click out of that. And when we play this back, you can see the brightness is going to flicker over time. So using expressions inside of Adobe After Effects is a really powerful method. And the wiggle expression is just the tip of the iceberg. 
there are so many different expressions available to you in After Effects, and you can actually write out your own expressions if you know what you're doing to create some really interesting automated animation. But have a go with the wiggle expression in your own projects, drop it onto specific shape layers, footage, video effects, see how it responds and adjust these two numbers, so five or 50, change these numbers up and down to see how that controls your specific effects or objects. Moving forward, I'm gonna do a few more videos about different expressions, but for now, the wiggle expression is a great introduction to the world of expressions inside of Adobe After Effects. So thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.